Hello everybody, Salty Walty is here and I have a match in my uh, level 2 Gigan. I was doing my dailies yesterday and I had this fantastic slash dumb match. Ended up getting a crap ton of damage and I don't understand how, but okay. Uh, so the Gigan is part of the Pizan, do uh, the Pizan development line on the asteroid Pizan. <laughs> Pizan, Pizan, whatever the hell, the, how the fuck you want to pronounce it. And, uh, it's a brother units are the uh, P's and Douch, the Exaku, the Gobal, the A. And uh, yeah, so this thing was made to uh, support those uh, mobile suits. And uh, originally it was supposed to kill Armoro. Uh, some random no name was supposed to get up on this and shot. Uh, well, no, it wasn't the Gigan. The Gigan was supposed to destroy the Armoro's original Gundam, and then he get upgraded the G3, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, yeah, he gets, uh, the G3. This was, that was the original, uh, what do you call it? Play, or script, or how the hell you pronounce it. Whatever it was, I'm not thinking. So, uh, yeah. Just in case you didn't know, that should have killed him. Don't, I don't get to kill that goof either. Big sad. He ate that fucking bazooka shot, though. So, the Gigan is a mid-range support type. Uh, it plays heavily differently than the gun tanks because you can CQC with this thing really well. It, oddly enough, has balancer. So you can jet forward and, uh, you know, fucking melee, which, you know, really throws me off that a tank, uh, a suit, or a thing. I would even consider this a tank. I call it, a uh, a moped, <laughs> uh, a trike, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can. Uh, it can do some decent damage if you, uh, if people let you. And I got that Jim Camel fucking with me, so he's being a prick, Mister Shot. Or is that a desert gym? I can't tell from this distance. Uh, my suit's having a seizure. But yeah, no, the the uh, the. This thing is just one of those odd duck mobile suits, or, yeah, mobile suits and all that. It's just really weird. There's a there's several different versions of it where you got the one from Unicron that's been upgraded. It loses its bottom tracks and then, you know, or wheels. And then it's upgraded to a, uh, these fucking, whatchamacallits, these weird ass fucking, uh, jets and stuff. And then its arm also is upgraded into a giant massive Gatling gun, and I kind of wish I didn't spawn here, but mistakes have been made. Though, also, I thought, uh, oh, that is a Jim Cam off over there. I mean, yeah, Jim Cam off over there. Hmm. That's the main reason I, uh, spawned in over here, because I thought that was an ally. Big sad. They want my wheels. Oh, no. Come on. Come get this claw, punk. Yeah, that's what I thought. You didn't want none of this. But yeah, no, the Gigan's fun. It's just odd. I find it an odd mobile suit. It's odd design. And, uh, though in the game it does hit rather hard, which is, you know, big fucking awesome. The cannon can do with a damage increase just a little bit, but it's okay. The Gatling gun does a fantastic job. And my fucking... Why is it frozen? Come on now. I don't know why OBS is being... There we go. Well, you didn't miss much. You just missed uh, me shooting a guy and spawning in. So I guess there's that. But uh, it's DPS is really good. In, I mean, 157 to a I think that's gym type D. is not too shabby. No, it's a gym command. It's not too shabby. So uh, big big damage numbers at a continuous rate equals uh, a good good thing. Good thing. Ugh, man, I am fucking just tired. I hate not working because it's just fucking with me because I'm not sleeping good enough because I'm not tired enough to sleep. Look at these fucking, you think, gun tank, you think you're tough shit? Nah, fam. I'm the real thing. I'm the real deal. Go for your mist. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Heat weapon, have an ass. So, yeah, I'm kind of wondering later down the line, are we going to get like a uh, Gigan Kai that actually has like the unicorn set up? Which I'm looking forward to. Oh, look at this counter. Get, get countered. I shouldn't have gotten that counter, to be honest. But I did. 
The gun looks so damn stupid. Like, where is it keeping all the ammunition for this gun? Tell me this. Riddle me that. Because I know it's not being stored in the arm, because there's no place to store it in the arm. There's just enough space in that arm ju uh, for the motor. The electric motor that it would need to power the, uh, make the barrel spin on this dumb thing. Uh, whatever. But, uh, yeah, this is a, one of those, uh, it's one of those cases, like, you'd think Xeon would have put a little bit more tech into this, like, I don't know, like, having the cannon on top of the head like that, it's a hundred, it's a 120 millimeter cannon, if I'm not mistaken, or is it a 180 millimeter? I don't think it's a 180 millimeter. Oh, well, I guess I'll never know. I'm pretty sure it's a 180 millimeter, never mind, I'll take that back. But it's just like, I don't know, like, it seems so, uh... Odd to have it designed like that, I, but it, I don't know. The uh, I, to upgrade it, I, I don't really know how to upgrade it except for like the unicorn way where they you know gave it the mega gatling gun, but just I don't know, it just seems off. Like, uh, the gatling gun is doing all right, it's got it's 120 millimeters, so it's the same caliber as the uh, Zaku machine gun. But I'm assuming it's using different type of ammunition than the standard Zaku machine gun because, as you guys know, that's not too effective. See, the difference between the Federation armor, it's because a lot of lore states, well, Luna Titanium doesn't rely on hardness. Well, it's that's what it's doing. It's relying on the hardness of the material to deflect the shots where, uh, in real life terms, that armor's not going to do really shit to... Uh, stop machine gun rounds because most of the federation mobile suits they're flat well mainly during the one year war they're flat pieces they're not curved or mainly curved in a whole lot of areas with the exception of the chest or the upper upper chest where it goes into the neck area but that doesn't really stop so that that area will deflect shots but a lot of the times you see the gundam tank uh shots directly to the midriff or the cockpit and shrugs it off well that machine gun fire would eventually chew through that armor with little problem. It wouldn't take that much to uh, chew through that armor. Uh, especially when you're shooting directly at it. So there's a lot of there's a lot of inconsistencies that like well it's not it's not dealing with our uh, the hardness of the armor when in fact it really is. Get down swung. And uh, nice combo here. Bam. Sit down. So, uh, well, you got the Zaku 2's armor, or pretty much any Zeon armor, because most of the Zeon armor is all fucking curved in some fashion. Most of the physical rounds would actually deflect off of their armor than before it would deflect off of, say, like the Federation's uh, Federation body. See, it's all about, like, like, look at our battle tanks. All of them will have curved armor. Anyway, hope you guys had the uh, enjoyed the match, and I shall uh, talk to you guys later. Hasta luego.